Ah, here's the problem. Output 5.1 volts at 650 milliamps. Ah, let's see what we've got here then. Ah, output 12 volts at 12 and a half amps. That'll just about do it. To start with, I'll take a look around the menus, see what the performance is like there. So you see the thumbnails are coming up pretty quickly there. As I'm scrolling down, yep, they're coming up very fast there. Maybe a tiny bit of lag compared to a full-blown desktop system doing Kodi. But you know what? It's perfect here. But I'm scrolling down, the background screen and the movie cover are refreshing at the same time. Before on the Pi 2, it lagged. Ah, yeah, kind of more like that, I would say. So look, for the most part, that is refreshing fast enough. No problems at all. Yeah, excellent. Beautiful. Happy with it. Let's just go down to the TV programs. Yeah, excellent. Where did the Pi 2 fail last time? Well, it was on the 60 frames a second video and HEVC videos. So let's start with the 60 frames a second. So 60 frames a second, MP4, H.264 video. Just jump a bit. Look at that. Beautiful. Playing perfectly. So even jumping backwards and forwards, yep. Nothing wrong at all. And the sound is nicely in sync. There you are, I've played something that's well and above most things that you'll be able to download or acquire off a DVD or Blu-ray. Talking of which, with Blu-rays, it's not able to output DTS, HD or Dolby True HD. Now this is a 24 frames a second MP4. Yeah, it can do 60 frames a second, why am I wasting my time showing you this? Let's push it to the limits. 4K video. Uh, this, unfortunately, is a fail. We have audio only. I can fast forward, but there is no video. Okay. 4K proves too much. HEVC. Now I'm a bit concerned about this because the old Pi 2 attempted to play these. On the other hand, Xbian, with the latest version of Kodi 16.1, crashes out. And more annoyingly, it goes first run help. Why? It's not the first run. Trying a smaller 360p HEVC encoded video. No, same results, it just doesn't attempt. Oh, shut up with the first one, help. The only thing I did manage to get to play was this one a 2 meg HEVC video that's very low quality. And a frame rate is a little bit lower here, but this isn't even a 24 frames a second video. And there's no sound as well, which I think this did have sound. Okay, HEVC is a no-go. MPEG-2. Same results, crashes out. It might be that we need to license the MPEG-2 decoder. Let's give it a last go on a HEVC video. No. There you are, I've tried quite a few different videos. They all play with Kodi version 16 on other systems. We'll take a look at the system information here. So we've got Kodi 16.1, Xbian 1.0. So I forgot to mention that I was utilising the network playback of the videos. That was SMB there. I have also tried SSH. Both are exceptional on speed. Most of the settings you're seeing here in Kodi are as you would expect to see on the system. There is one other menu down here for Xbian. So we'll open this up. 
There's quite a few more settings you can change on here. So there we are, MPEG-2 license and VC1 Blu-ray decoding license. So you can do updates to the system. So I did these before I started and there wasn't anything to do. XBMC. Come on guys, it's been renamed to Kodi for some time now. You can change the behaviour at the CEC, whether you want the TV to also turn off with the Pi. That's a good option to be able to turn off. It kind of bugs me. I try and disable it within the TV. A good option to spin down hard drives, should you have one connected via USB. USB disk auto mounting, good. Backup, uh, VNC server. Why would you want a VNC server and server is spelt wrong? <laughs> These settings you can change there on the video acceleration. The audio output menu had a bit of a bug on it earlier where it kept chucking me backwards when I was trying to scroll down. It seems to have stopped now. I don't know what that was about. This is deceptive. I honestly thought DTS HD was going to work. It's greyed out. It let me select it earlier when I disabled DTS. There you are. But when I tried to play a DTS HD video, it just defaulted back to stereo. Honestly, I'll take DTS over stereo, but I would rather it was DTS HD. But honestly, if you don't have a DTS HD capable amplifier, then I would absolutely recommend the Raspberry Pi 3 as a home theater PC. Its performance is exceptional for its value. Well, thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.